Hey guys, this is my 2019 Toyota Tacoma um, SR5 XP package. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, replacing the front grille with this new, really nice Raptor style grille. It's got the Raptor lights up top, and then on the side it's got white DRLs, but they double as turn signals too. So um, today we're going to be starting this project. Right now I'm just going to be taking the front fascia and grill off and I'm gonna kind of give you a little walkthrough of how to do that, it's pretty simple. So, so let's check that out. All right, just to show you kind of what is going on with this, there's two clips on the sides here. Basically, you take a flathead screwdriver, pop these up, these just pop right up. Um, and then you're gonna have um, just a few 10 millimeter bolts right here. Take that off. And again, another one right here. Um, a couple other bolts right there. But basically everything, just once you undo that, this whole front piece just comes straight off. So then once you take that off, we'll, uh, we'll be looking at taking the shroud and this trim piece off that separates from the inside here. All of that is held on just by these clips that are on the inside, so. Um, once I pop this off, I'll kind of show you how that works. Now, the thing too, you have to remember, this has the TSS sensor in it, so on the back, there's this plug right here that you have to make sure you disconnect before you go tug it on the thing. But basically, the two bolts up here are the only ones I took out, and then the ones with the flathead, the little uh, pop tab ones, and then the good little tug, and that comes out. So this is the sensor. We're gonna have to, uh, Kind of work on that as far as putting that back up in here uh, after we replace this they do make a bracket for it so um i may just either disconnect this and not have it or i might grab a bracket and fabricate it later so um kind of take a look at that but right now that's basically how the front part comes out and then inside here all of these tabs are the ones that basically um, pop out. It's like 16 of them. All you do is pop those out. We'll show you uh, that on the next one. All right, the uh, next thing I'm gonna do is basically pop out these tabs. Um, you see the silver ones are obviously the trim piece here, and then there's these small black ones. They just pop right out. So what I'm gonna do is this has that trim piece over it. I'm gonna do the trim piece tabs first. Basically you just squeeze them and push them in. You don't want to squeeze them too much because they are pretty fragile, they're plastic. So if you end up pushing them too much, it's a little unforgiving. So. So um, if you go through around here, there's a few screws, just fill up screws, and then grab it real quick. 
I'm gonna pop that right out. So basically that's the trim piece coming out. here that some of you guys may or may not have this issue depending if you have the sensor or not. The TSS sensor, the, the wire is connected here so what I'm going to do is just disconnect it here from the actual sensor. All right, after screwing around with this for a few seconds, um, basically this piece up here if you look on the other side with the TSS sensor, um, you're gonna have a problem with this wiring harness that's connected through here. So once you pop off the, the front chrome trim piece um, on the other side, the back side here, all you're gonna have to do is kind of squeeze the sides, see how it's got those just little flanges right there that you can just squeeze in and it'll pop out here. That way you don't have to if you have to replace it back or you want to put it back to stock with the, the stock sensor mounts and everything like that, that's going to be um, how you disconnect that part. The other part up here where the other connector for the sensor is, same kind of thing. You just kind of push those tabs in there and then that saves you. You could always reconnect it later and it goes right back. Okay, just be very careful. Again, all this stuff is plastic. You screw around with it, you're gonna break a tab, and then you're gonna be pissed off. You're gonna wanna throw stuff against the wall. So, um, that being said, that you don't have to disconnect those two if you don't want to. Um, I'm gonna leave it attached now because I'm not gonna put the sensor on for now, but I might attach that later. So, this is the shroud. And this is gonna be ready to clean out you put the other grill in. All right, basically I just wiped down the trim piece for now. Um, just clean out this little OCD about crap like that. So basically I'm just gonna try to pop this in here, kind of mop it up to see how it looks. So that's just kind of a quick mock-up um, and it looks like um, how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna just slip it in there.
kind of go around with these and take your time, just kind of pop them all in. And it's that easy. So if you look on the inside here, you're all ready for your wiring. So every two plugs here, two adapters, and then you have your three um, plugs here for your Raptor lights. So I'm gonna do the wiring later uh, with my brother. He's gonna help me out with that. But for now, what I'm gonna do is reinstall this back on my truck because it looks badass. Let's go back outside. All right, I'm gonna pop the grill back in and get it all buttoned up. So again, just two 10 millimeter bolts and two clips. That's all that holds on in front of that grill. Looks sick. And there you have it. So that is the new grill. It's gonna look awesome once I get that all wired up. But like I said, easy taking the shroud off, taking the old one off, popping it back in. I got this awesome setup. It's pretty sick. So once I get to uh hook up with my brother we're gonna um i'll show you how to do the raptor light hookups and then um hook up the drl i'll do all that later but that's pretty much it if you got questions just uh you know shoot me a message thanks